Before World War I, women were believed to be stay-at-home creatures. No woman worked in business, politics, or anything much outside home. However, when the war began in 1914 and the men, one after another, started going to war, women's roles began to change. Beginning from Britain, we started seeing women secretaries, women farmers, and even women bus conductors. By the time World War I was over in 1921, the roles of women have completely changed from what they used to be just seven years before. And as you can see today, those roles have changed forever. Here, we are battling another significant worldwide crisis. If you've been thinking if the world will remain the same after this pandemic is over, maybe you should think again because it might not. In today's video, I want to share with you a few ways our lives might be changed forever just because of COVID-19 pandemic. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. More companies will consider remote staffing and this might affect you. All my life, I've never traveled more than 5 kilometers from work until recently when I moved my company's office to a new location and even with that, I only travel 22 kilometers once a week. Every other day, I work from home because I've always loved to work from home. I try as much as possible to make almost everyone in my company also able to work from home. So, remote staffing is a big thing for us, but that's not the same with many other companies. That will change very soon and it will affect so many people because if a company can figure out how to get people to work from home, they can as well figure out how to get people to work for them from another state or even another country. That is a big problem for many people because now the competition for your job might as well not be from your city or even your country anymore. Someone in my country might be competing with your job and someone outside your continent might just be the next person to get your job. How then can you prepare for this change? First, increase your value in the marketplace. Invest heavily in self-development so you'll be better than most people. This is what I always say. If today I'm an employee, my goal will be to be among the top 1% most qualified in my field. These kind of people are not easily replaceable. So whatever comes will always favor them. The second thing is, stop looking where your eyes can only see. Start looking at the world as a single city. Look and search for opportunities in other places, in other states, and even from other countries. 2. Handshaking Kisses Maybe it's gone. According to DeepEnglish.com, the history of handshakes dates back to the 5th century BC in Greece. It was a symbol of peace to show that I'm not carrying a weapon. You might think that was a long time ago and such a custom can't be changed. Well, think about the role of women in society. It changed after thousands of years. Now to those who are very social, to those who greet people with kisses and handshakes, get prepared because long after the COVID-19 is over, you will still be afraid of shaking hands or kissing people. So many people will stop shaking hands forever. And just close your mind and imagine that one year after the end of COVID-19, someone coughs or sneezes very near you. You can imagine how you would react to such an individual. 3. Now you can't spend all you earn. The Great Depression started in the year 1929 and ended in 1941. Some people who were fortunate to have grandparents who lived through those long years of poverty can testify to how they never recovered from being careful with money. Some of those people can't just imagine spending money except for necessity. Never. This is because they have seen how unexpected crises could make life miserable. For most of us, however, we have never seen such things. And that's why most people are not careful about how they spend money. This might change very soon. Before this era, people buy the cars they cannot afford, the clothes they cannot afford, and the homes they cannot afford, just to look rich. Suddenly, all those things don't matter. Who would think about social media picture of these new cars now? Who would think about living in a big home now? It takes wisdom for you and I to know that other people don't matter as much as we do. I love to acquire assets that give me money. I love to be rich rather than to look rich. For the people who spend the last one decade looking rich, they might just learn their lesson in a hard way now that the economy is cracking down 
And for those of you who are still young and have not been victims of social media pictures, listen to me. It doesn't matter what other people think about you. What matters is your asset. Trying hard to look rich is going to make you poor. My simple financial rule is this. I don't buy any liability, except I will be fine if I lose it after 24 hours. My most expensive phone is equivalent to my one-day income. So if I lose it, I'll just smile and buy another one. My rent is less than my one-week income, so my landlord can never have trouble with me. Even my car is equivalent to my two-three weeks income. I live so low so that I can be happy. I can't afford to have hypertension because someone steals my phone. I can't afford to worry about the payment or loan of a car. I mean, it's just a car designed to move you from point A to B. It's just a phone designed to make you communicate with other people and maybe surf the internet. I just can't get my head to understand how people waste money just to look rich. But I hope a few people will learn this lesson now. I hope this crisis will change some people's financial lives forever. I hope a few people will learn their lessons to stop trying hard to look rich. I'm an opportunist and I believe every change comes with some opportunity. While COVID-19 might change the lives of every one of us, I do hope some of us will change for better. And just before you go, watch other videos on YouTube. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.